Let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have to find the value of double integral by reversing the order of integration. That means if the original strip is parallel to x axis, we will rotate it and we will consider a strip parallel to y axis. And if the original strip is parallel to y axis, we consider a strip parallel to x axis and we solve the problem. In other words, we can say if we have integral like this, that means inner integration with respect to x, outer integration with respect to y. So by changing the order of integration, we will have inner integration with respect to y and outer integration will be x. OK, so let us find first region of integration, then we will change the order of integration. So what we have inner integration with respect to x since we have dx as well as we have function of y. So I should write x is equal to x is equal to these are limits of x. So obviously this is integration with respect to y. So we have these are limits of y. So therefore the given region is bounded by region is bounded by let me write is bounded by y is equal to 0 which is equation of x axis. Okay. So y is equal to 0. So we have a x axis here. Next y is equal to 2. y is equal to 2. It is a line parallel to x axis. Oh, okay. So we have a line. Let me show it here. Line parallel to x axis which passes through this y is equal to 2. So we have this line. So y is equal to 2. Okay. I have shown here. Next x is equal to 1. Let me write here x is equal to 1. This is a line again a line parallel to parallel to y axis. OK, so we have a line parallel to y axis which passes through x is equal to 1. So we will have line OK like this which is parallel to y axis passes through x is equal to 1. Let me write here x is equal to 1. Next we have x is equal to y by 2. Or you can say y is equal to 2x, getting that is uh, y is equal to 2x. So this is a line again. Since power of x is 1, power of y is also 1, so 101% it is a line. So to draw that line, we need to have two points on a line. So we join them and we get a straight line. So this is a technique. So for that purpose, we need to draw one table here, right, to find any two points on a line. Okay, let me show it here. So here we will have values of x, values of y, and then we will have x, y. Okay. So one more thing I want to do here. So this, this is point of intersection is 1 comma 2 since x coordinate is 1 and y coordinate is 2. Okay. So normally first we put x is equal to 0. If I put x is equal to 0, obviously the value of y will be 0. So the point is 0, 0, which is origin. I'm showing it here. So the second point, okay, we have to find second point. So for that purpose, we put y is equal to 0. But see, if I put y is equal to 0 here, again, I will have x is equal to 0. Same point we will get, but we are interested in some different point. So purposely, what will I do? I will put y is equal to 2. Okay, so that that's why I will get the point of intersection also. y is equal to 2 and we have some line. Let us find where this line intersect to this y is equal to 2. If I put y is equal to 2, or here doesn't matter x is equal to 1 so 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 already we have got that point okay so let us uh, draw the line which passes through this point and the origin so we get this line let me draw okay so we have this line what is the equation of this line y is equal to 2x okay so maybe you will get confused which region we have to consider this one, this triangle or this triangle, since both triangle will satisfy all conditions. Region bounded by y is equal to 2, region bounded by y is equal to 0, region bounded by x is equal to 1 and region bounded by y is equal to 2x. Okay, see uh, this triangle will not satisfy this condition that means bounded by all four regions. So this triangle should be the region of integration. Okay, so let me show you. So this is a region of integration we have. Okay, since it is bounded by x is equal to 1 as well as this line. So that's why this should be the region of integration. Otherwise, this could be a region of integration, but we are getting this one. Okay, so see inner integration with respect to x. That means the given strip is parallel to x axis. To change the order of integration, we should consider a strip parallel to y axis. So our strip should be like this. Getting strip should be like this. 
since the original strip is parallel to x axis since the in, in, uh, inner integral is with respect to x see there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it after that we will go further see that thing i have mentioned here okay so to change the order of integration we are considering a strip parallel to y axis so when we have a strip parallel to y axis we write y varies from okay and after that we write x varies from funda is very simple bounded below bounded above left to right since strip is bounded below by x axis whose equation is y is equal to 0 after that bounded above strip is bounded above by this line whose equation is y is equal to 2x then we move strip from left to right it should start at this corner getting since it has to cover each and every point so this corner that means 0 0 where the value of x is 0 i should write here now strip will move like this and it will stop at this line where x is equal to 1 so in this way we got limits let me write 0 to 1 and 0 to 2x since our strip is parallel to y axis inner integration with respect to y and outer integration with respect to x let me write the function e raised to x square now i should write dy dx when we integrate with respect to y x and all functions of x will be constant so that e raised to x square will come outside the integration let me write here so this is equal to integration 0 to 1 e raised to x square will come outside integration of dy only getting integration of dy is y we know so this is y with limit 0 to 2x dx after that we put upper limit we put lower limit but fortunately we have lower limit 0 so that's why no need to worry simply we will put upper limit and we will have integration 0 to 1 2x e raised to x square dx there is a product of two functions okay we cannot solve it directly there is a need of substitution but there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it after that we will go further so let us continue now see uh, we need to put something so that derivative should be easily adjustable there so i'm going to put e x square is equal to t so its derivative is 2x which is already available there so that's why i'm writing 2x dx derivative of t is 1 dt so that's why value of x dx is dt by 2 so because of this we can replace x dx or directly also we can write 2x is equal to dt right next we need to change the limits now x is equal to 0 if i put here the value of t is 0 and if i put x is equal to 1 we will have t is equal to 1 so we have the new limits so therefore i is equal to let me write integration 0 to 1 fortunately we have 2x dx here 2x dx which is equal to dt and e raised to i should write t since x square is equal to t dt okay integration of e raised to t is e raised to t with limit 0 to 1 let us put upper limit so e raised to 1 which is e minus e raised to 0 which is 1 so this is required answer let me mention here since e raised to 0 is 1 that's why i could write 1 there okay so this is required answer make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye